This is question 28 from the gate 2022 EC paper where we are asked to find which of the following four statements is correct regarding the implementation of a NOT gate in CMOS circuit. Underneath the question you will find the title of the LPTEL course for video relevant to this topic. So before the question a little bit of background regarding the noise margins of an inverter. So in blue, you can see the actual transfer characteristics of the inverter and in red, you can see the noise margin approximate transfer characteristics, which is you find Vm, right? That is the point at which the Vn and Vout are equal. Draw a tangent and then draw two flat lines. This is the noise margin approximate transfer characteristics. It makes the assumptions that VOH is VDD and VOL is zero volt. So simply the noise margin will become VDD minus VIH and noise margin low is VIL. And VIH and VIL are simply where the two kinks are there. That is the two points where the uh, tangent line meets one at the top and one at the bottom. So the x-axis points are VIL and VIH. These are the expressions for the noise margin high and noise margin low with respect to Vm that is the trip point. Now the first point will require this background. The idea is that the relative sizing of, of the PMOS and NMOS will affect the trip point Vm. And you can see that for certain values of Vm, it can be that noise margin high is not equal to noise margin low. So option A is not true. Next, dynamic power consumption during switching is zero. Now dynamic power consumption, even for a NOT gate that is not connected to any load, will have the internal parasitic capacitances of the PMOS and NMOS drains. So this is the drain of the PMOS and this is the drain of the NMOS. This is connected to VDD and this is connected to ground. So when the output is charging up, it is actually charging up the parasitic capacitance of these two drains and also when it is discharging, it is discharging the parasitic capacitance of these two drains. So there will always be some parasitic load and so the dynamic power consumption is never zero. Uh, and in option D, mobility of electron never uh, influences the switching speed of the NOT gate. Well, that's clearly not true because the mobility of the electron affects the strength or the current of the bottom transistor so the current is always mu n c ox w by l into something based on the region so this mu n directly influences the drain current of the nmos and so if the mobility of electrons is greater or lesser the drain current for any vd and vg and vs will be different and that will affect the speed of the NOT gate when pulling the output to zero. So clearly option D is also not true. And finally option C, well, when you have a logical high input, that is the input is at VDD, the output will be at zero. And for VDS is equal to zero, the NMOS transistor is clearly in the linear region because VDS is now less than VGS minus VTH. Why? Because VGS is greater than VTH because it's a on device. And so therefore this right hand side is greater than zero, but this left hand side is equal to zero. So the correct answer is 
C. Thus, the correct option is option C. Thank you.